What are the best troops in Bannerlord? This video will cover the best troops in the game. And they are... Max tier troops. Wait, what? Any troop at max tier is the best option. Sure, if you pit a full army of one type of archer against a full army of another type of archer, one will always win. But how often do you see that in a campaign? How often have you seen an AI army full of max tier troops? Me? Never. The truth? The player has a huge advantage over the AI lords. The player can use two steward perks to level their troops to max tier by donating gear. The AI can't use those perks. They don't get gear as loot. They only get the gold equivalent. And they'll never buy gear to donate. The AI can only level their troops if they gain XP from battle or other perks that give XP. Always use this advantage. If you're planning on doing a lot of large-scale battles, you should always level your troops to max. You get a ton of loot from battles, donate the cheap stuff, and use the expensive stuff to buy more cheap stuff. If you lose troops, replace them with recruits of any culture and level them to whichever unit type you need, ASAFP. If you like to have a diverse army and use tactics and strategy to beat the AI, great! Use max tier troops in all of the positions. It doesn't matter which version of the archers or cav or pikemen or whatever you're using, just max their tier. Do you really need to travel to one side of the map and grab a bunch of cav and fions, then travel to the other end of the map and get consguard? No. Sure. If you're already there, grab the good ones. Why not? But if you're in a war on one side of the map, don't risk running to the other side to get the noble lines. Just use any garbage recruit and level them to max tier. But it's so expensive to have high tier troops. Yep. But if you want the best troops, you better figure out your money issues. I sell crafted weapons and I've never had an issue with money in any playthrough. But I don't get enough loot to level the recruits after each battle. Sounds like you need to level up roguery. Roguery level is what determines how much loot you get. The higher the level, the more loot you get. Or you could just buy cheap gear in a town and donate that. Unless you're still crying about the money from 30 seconds ago, then you need to work that out. But I can't give high-tier troops to my companions. Those idiots donate them to garrisons and grab recruits. Yep, that's another issue. The solution you're not going to like. Don't visit towns when traipsing around while at war. I only visit villages to fill my ranks, not towns. I try to remember those idiots are going to mess up all my hard work. Just stop before entering the town and take all of their troops into your party. After leaving, give them back. But I don't know how to use all the different troop types effectively. Then don't use a bunch of different types. Use what you know how to use, but max them out first. A max tier troop of any culture, of the type you know how to use, is the best troop. But I heard on YouTube that I should never use insert troop here or insert culture here. Sure, one culture may have the best version of some troop type, but only if it's max tier. The AI armies tend to have more low tier troops than high tier troops because their AI lords are as dumb as your companions and donate the good ones. If your army is all max tier, then that troop that the YouTube video told you not to use will beat the AI's low-tier, supposedly better troops every time. But I heard on YouTube that insert troop here is the best troop. Are you saying that it's not? I'm saying whichever troop you use, level them to the max always.